<laughs> hey everyone. Uh, welcome to Clue Worldwide. It is Miss Ty Scott King and I am Dice Gamble. So thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for stopping by. We have some great uh, dialogue for you today. Yep. 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 Uh huh. Y'all know what our, our topic is? What? What is our topic, Ty? It's Are You Working the Word? Woman. <laughs> Woman. 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 Are you working the word? Right? So before we get into that, though, Dice, will you pray for us? You know what? I will always pray for us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Father God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this time that we get to have hanging out with our sisters in Christ. Um, thank you that we get to talk about woman. Are you working the word today, Father God? Thank you for that topic, allowing us to dig deeper into your word and see uh, what you say about us uh, using your word and how we should use your word. So I'm asking that you cover this session, Lord, and that you drop whatever on us today in our spirit. Uh, that we need to know and that you want to communicate with us. So um, once again, Lord, thank you for Clue Worldwide and everybody who is uh, going to hang out with us during this topic. Uh, we ask all this in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right. So before we go in, go any further, we just want to encourage you all to share this broadcast out with your friends. Follow us on Twitter. Like us here. Follow us on Instagram. Like us. Everything is at... <laughs> Everything is at Clue Worldwide. So please Excellent. make sure we would love for you all to um, just partner with us in what we're doing because the mission of Clue is to spread the gospel. We're an international collective that supports and promotes positive Christian women and girls of all ethnic backgrounds and talents. We're here yes. to cultivate and provide support first spiritually and then in regards to every other area of our lives, right? So we're all about the advancement of women and girls around the world who are believing to walk out their calling. So please support us by sharing yes. out what we are doing with your peeps and following us on all your social media platforms. Oh, all those social media platforms. And thank you in advance for your cooperation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's really good stuff, guys, though. No, seriously. Yeah, please like and share, like and share, comment, give us some uh, some suggestions on some topics maybe you want yeah. to hear us, you know, to talk about and all that good stuff. So, yep. All right, Ty, what are we getting into today? Uh, right, woman so are we working the word? So, last week we talked about, or two weeks ago, we talked about prayer, right? And prayer. just delving into what prayer is. Is there a formula? How does it work? How does God hear us? All that good stuff, right? And yep. then you dropped your top three jewels on us about um, praying anywhere and being open right. to prayer and, you know, not having to pray these long, broad, drawn, drawn out. out prayers, right? So now we know we pray and that's in the word, but how do we work the word? Like, okay, what, great. what is the word? Right, right. What's the what word? Is what is the word? I think that's the perfect way to jump into this. So the Bible is one of the most influential books of all time, but what is it exactly? Yeah, some people treat the Bible like a divine behavior manual that dropped out of heaven. Others use it like a theology dictionary written to answer all of our questions about God. And others still think of it like a grab bag of spiritual one-liners and inspiring stories. But here's the thing. The Bible isn't written as a rule book or theology dictionary or even as a collection of inspirational writings. Then what is the Bible? Well, open up the Bible to page one and read the opening words. In the beginning. Now, turn to the last chapter of the Bible where you can read this. And they reigned forever and ever. Okay, so the Bible's telling a story from beginning to end. Yeah, it's one epic narrative about how God has appointed humanity as his partners to oversee this amazing world. It's about how we've ruined that partnership and how God is restoring us and our world through Jesus. You'll discover that the Bible is a work of literary genius that can transform how you live and how you think about everything. And trust me, there's more to our word, but our guide that we have as Christians is God's word in our Bible, those 66 books. And trust me, there's enough in there to get you through your whole entire everything. life. Everything, everything, everything. every question, every, 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 every answer. answer. <laughs> right, so it's all God breathed, God inspired. And uh, that's that's what we live our, our this, this Christian walk in life by, is whatever, uh, whatever the situation is, we base it off of God's word and how we attack it, how we go through it. So, um, 
to me, that's just my, that's what I think God's word is. That's one version of God's word. And I, and I say the most important probably as a Christian um, is what we already have. And we know that God did. There are 2,500 prophecies in the Bible and over 2,000 of them have come to pass uh, exactly and correctly. So I'm mm -hmm. just going to say you can trust okay. that word. You yeah. go ahead and trust the word. <laughs> so there's the word, which is the, the written word, the Bible. And then there's the spoken word, not the spoken word I do or die. <laughs> not the poetry and the light word. Spoken <laughs> word as in when God speaks as he spoke to Abraham, as he spoke to people in the Old Testament. Well, yeah, as he spoke in the Old Testament and he used Jesus to speak in the New Testament and as he speaks to us every day, right? So that's the word. So how the topic is, you know, are you working the word? So how does someone even work the word? How do you... I Go ahead. All right. Well, first of all, how you work that word is I'm gonna need you to read. <laughs> so I, like, I forgot about that. I was like, I think today, today's age, we all have phones, and so typically people have their app, their Bible app. But I'll be honest with you, I think it's easier to read the book in your hand. But that's just my personal opinion. Maybe I'm old school. You can read that Bible on your phone, but it's something about being able to flip to scriptures because they start to connect once you read them you're like oh man oh that's in that oh yeah and then you're like well, technology is fancy dice because it, you can do that <laughs> you can do that on your phone but i like to hide listen yeah I, for I sure crayons and stickers and i got bookmarks and it's like when you i'm trying to tell you you can you say this is a uh, new age ty scott all you want king uh that this is new age stuff <laughs> but there's nothing like having a bible like oh now. i still have my bible so trust me i i have many bibles and i i make sure i whip those out i'm just saying for the people who are very tied to technology i don't want them to feel like oh man you know what i can't do it because they you could highlight you could bookmark you do all that especially in the bible apps but you can't you can it in your hand you can and you can all that and it doesn't and I'm gonna say this, and if you're listening and you're watching and all you have is an app, e inbox me and I will send you a Bible. I am I am 100% uh, uh, agreeing right now that if you do not have a Bible and you want one, I will send it to you. But you're right, Ty, you can do all that on your phone um, and all that. I love stuff. books, so I'm, I'm always for the physical, the physical copy, so I agree with you. I just don't wanna leave anybody out. Okay, and if you don't, even if you don't have a phone, I mean, I guess you could borrow somebody's Bible or go online or whatever at the library. I guess there are ways you can do it too. Yeah. But that's work to me. However you're gonna, if you're physically doing that, if you're swiping, if you're highlighting, if you're reading, you need to be reading it regardless of the platform or however you had it. That's the right. point. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You. You, you study it, so you find out what it says regarding any and everything in your life because the Bible is the answer to everything, right? right. And then you you apply it. So you those scriptures that you're learning when you're flipping back and forth, whether it's in your app or in the book where you dog ear the pages and put the post-its and highlighted it, all that stuff, you, you know, after you read it, you find those scriptures and then you apply those scriptures to your situation. You pray those those specific scriptures. So if you're going through something like lately, I've been feeling like, God, I'm not really spending as much time with you as I should. I'm, I'm, I'm a little caught up in, you know, the phone and the Instagram and just the technology. And I noticed that I was, I was sharing with a friend I, I went to uh, breakfast with on Saturday. I was telling her, I feel like I'm comparing myself to people a little more lately and I know that's because I've been spending too much time online oh and I see like really because she she's not in um she's a Christian but she doesn't she's not in ministry in any way you know she's not a singer she's not a rapper she's not a poet like she doesn't live in our musical world right and so she feels like oh you're on here you know you're not really on there like you can't be on there that much and and you're so awesome why are you comparing yourself to somebody else I'm like no trust me I'm thinking how did that person get that opportunity why didn't I and once I start looking at it and not being able to celebrate my friends or even these strangers I know I'm spending too much time on there and so that was a thing for me that I've been like okay God I need to veer my way back and work your word like really get in it and spend time with you 
Mm. And so the scriptures that, you know, I had to find scriptures relating to the fact that, you know, um, he'll perfect those things that concern me. All things right. are working for my good. Um, he right. My steps, you know, like I had to right. apply those scriptures because then that keeps me from wanting somebody else's blessing. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't mm-hmm. even know how to handle that blessing, you know, or it's just t- I, that blessing isn't big enough for me, whatever God is mm-hmm. doing. You know, I had to find those scriptures. I had to study that word and then apply it. And then also like um, you shared in the last episode about episodes, are these episodes? These are episodes, keep going. <laughs> And I laughed at that about um, speaking it out, you know, so to work the word, you study it, you apply it, you speak it out. Once you get it, you have to say it, you know, to, to so you can hear it and so that all of heaven and the angels can hear it and, you know, work to make it happen for you like God wants them to. And then right. another part of working the word is to obey it. Ooh. The most important part <laughs> Cause we can study it, we can, you know, we can read it, we can study it, we can speak it, but if we don't, we can, we can study it, apply it, speak it, but if we don't obey it, then yeah. all of that is for nothing, basically. Yeah. No, that's good stuff. Um, what you were saying a minute ago, you were explaining um, when you were saying apply the word, mm-hmm. and um, I guess. I just wanted to say for some people who they, they don't understand about the application or how to apply that word. It is just you really having that view and that mindset and that heart set um, that lines up with God's word. That's your attitude. That's how you should believe for a situation or walk through that situation or uh, pray for that situation. Like God has already spoken pretty much how we should walk this life when it comes to uh this this faith right here so um really grabbing those scriptures like you said you gotta gotta read that word get into that word and then remember that word and really really like you said speak that word and and obey that word so those are a lot of different ways that you work that word and they all work together um there is in joshua and eight uh keep this book of the law always on meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it, then you will be prosperous and be successful. And so it's like God is asking us to really have his word on our heart and our minds. And that is the thing that is going to protect us and keep us and guide us. Yeah. Make me prosperous and successful, Lord. Like when I, well, yeah, like he's already given us the formula. So that's why I, I love today's topic about woman, are you working the word? Like we have every, everything we need already. Um, right. Yeah, it's just about remembering what God said, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it, it is easy, it is easy to forget. One yeah. of the um, one of the first scriptures, and I, I don't think I was necessarily trying to learn it. I, I'm, I believe that God just led me to it because I was basically a brand new Christian. I really didn't know much about the Bible, but one of the first scriptures that I remember really um, connecting to was that um, your gift will make room for you. Yeah. And I don't think I connected to it. At the time, I, I knew, I didn't even know my gift was really a gift. Yeah. Like, I didn't know anything about what God was going to do with it through me. Right. I wasn't seeking it out. But I felt yeah. like it came to me and it really um, just kind of set the course for my life. And there are so many days, you know, even just going back to working the word like, um, applying it, mm. you know, studying it, like that's mm. really a, a main, a major scripture for me, you know, that my mm. gift will make room for me. I don't have to bust up in any place. Oh, I'm here. Like, <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have to do those things, you know, right. even, even going after opportunities. Sometimes I'm like, I feel kind of weird going after it, but if I yep. really believe that God told me to go after it because yep. my gift is making room for me, then I do it. But I don't yeah. have to like finagle my way because right. God is doing it. And so I, I feel like when we know those scriptures, we're, we're empowered. We right. don't, it's not a position of, um, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like, we don't have to be worried. We don't have to feel like we have to do it ourselves. We can right. relax. Right. It's really a position of empowerment. 
to know yeah. like, man, I got this word and this word, I'm working the word and the word is working for me. Yeah, like, that works. The constant. Yeah. You know, so I don't know what really what that was. Uh, no, I, I, I like that. No, the, it's just the flow. It is the flow. And that is how that thing works. You know, God said it. I believe it. I'm going to speak it. And you and, and I'm going to walk in this thing and that yeah. and you will see. I think you really obviously we need the word more than God needs the word. But the point is, like, you really start to feel God's power, you yeah. know. And one of the things I had an old pastor tell me is the word is is an anointing, you know. So it's like you can you can hmm. even feel God's anointing on your life the more words you have inside of you. Because it's like it's coating every cell and every piece, you know, every bone and hair follicle because you, you, you're constantly meditating on his word day and night. So it's like you're always walking in his power of what he already said and you believe it. So it's like, I was, one day I was like, hey, you know what? You are absolutely right. That is, yeah. that is the anointing. God's word is the anointing. Whatever God has said, it's anointed. So... <laughs> Wow. Yeah. yeah. The, the yeah. power of the word. We we don't work it sometimes, I think, because we don't remember how powerful it is. Like, who was the, um, the, he was like a soldier and he went to his commander and, you know, well, he went, this soldier went to Jesus and he was like, my daughter is ill, you know, like, I need you to come, I need you to just speak your word. And it was like, okay, well, I don't need to come. No, like I'm in the army and I know that when my commander says such and such, all he has right. to do is speak it and it is so. So you right. don't need to go anywhere, Jesus. I don't need you to come lay your hand on her. Like just your word is he powerful believed. enough. He believed, absolutely. And when we, we speak that, when we he, he get was that a, word in our spirit, it's like, and speak it, It's we're unstoppable, really. It was, uh, it's Luke 7 through nine but um yeah somewhere it's somewhere in there i'm trying to i'm looking mm -hmm. for this right now but that is a really really good passage in there yeah. um, and what faith what yeah and i mean that's great faith like i don't need you to come to my house or put your hands on nobody get all oiled up smack anybody around you know knock people out i don't need all that i just right. I, I believe whatever you say god like and i believe if you say she's healed and i think they were far away he they yeah were yeah far. they were far yeah. They were fine. And so just his word, yeah, healed. And, and th that's because he knows how it works just in his everyday regular life. You know, like, look, I, I, I'm, I take orders, so I get it. I know <laughs> that when I get an order, I just do it. So yeah. you're given an order. You, Jesus, who has authority over everything, yeah. is giving an order. Go bless dice. Yeah. Go open that door for Ty. Like, yeah. Go do X, Y, Z for Mary, Sue, right. Rashonda, whoever's right. watching. Like, right, 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 right. Go do this for them. Right. And the angels are like, sweet, I got it. Yeah. No, I no question. Because I know who has the authority and they know it's not them. They mm -hmm. know they're being sent. Right. You know, so working this word, man, we, we got to. It's a job. We gotta it stay is. on our job. It is. Work. You know what? Because the, word. Uh, the devil is always on his job. So I'm going to need all of us <laughs> to stay on our job. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> he he don't sleep. He don't sleep. He's like in a zone. You know. So yeah, yeah, it is important that we do know what God said. And to your point, yeah, when I remember that word, I do get to walk in in God's power and. Um, and it's just, it's just a beautiful thing. And it, mm -hmm. I think it builds your trust, you know what I mean? And it's yeah. good that God said about you. One of the things my old life group, uh, we used to always talk about is, I think a lot of times we get lost and thrown off track or we have all these insecurities because we don't even know what God said. We, we don't know that he said you're fearfully and wonderfully made, you know, like, you know, like it, it, even in the womb, like I'm designing yeah. you, be, you know, like I, uh, it, trust me, you haven't seen what I have. You know, like you have no idea how I want to bless you. It is above your thoughts. Like you really right. need me to know, like God, what did you say about me? What did you say about my life? You know, what did you call me to? And what is my purpose? And I think that's one of the things that God's word does is it definitely reminds us of our purpose and that yeah. we have, and our purpose is in Him. You know, and it's not the harm us, but the bless us. You know, yeah. so it's like yeah. all of give that. us a hope, a future, an expected end. Okay, so it just, it feeds us, and we need that. Yeah. And 
to your point, going a while without being in God's word, you do start to feel a little distant, you mm -hmm. know, and we would like for us to be close. That's why we do have, right. have this word. So it's yeah. like, I need to remember. <laughs> remember? <laughs> like, like, I need you to remember. Yeah. So, it's good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Woman, are you working the word? You oh, work gosh. Word. Okay, so study it, apply it, speak it, obey it. So say it again. Study it. Study it. Apply it. Apply it. Speak it. Speak it. Obey it. I think that is a great formula for how to work the word right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's good and stuff. And then Ephesians 6, 10 through 17. It's uh -huh. The first part is 10. Put on all of God's armor so that you'll be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. Yeah. And then 17 is this includes wielding the, the, word, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Right. Yeah. So, you know, we put on the armor and the, the word of the God, word of God is really our sword. And then Matthew 7, 26 through 27. But those mm -hmm. who hear my instructions and ignore them are foolish, <laughs> like a yeah. man who builds his house on sand. Uh -huh. But when the rains and floods come and storms and storm winds beat against his house, it will fall with a mighty crash. Yeah. Here and yeah. study, apply, speak, obey. Good. It's such oh. good. I love it. I love Bible study too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could just be old school now. I'm thinking, I'm like, I want real Bibles and I want Bible study. Like, I want us to, we need to have a clue live. Hey, you need to give us a, a shout out if you think we need to do a live Bible study. I mean, like, where we have like a group group and we just do that thing. Yeah, because yeah. we can bring more people in here, right? And, yeah, I'd be like, well, how you working the word, girl? How you working that word? How we yeah. all gonna work the word today? So that would be fun. Yeah, we can okay. do that. We're Where are we at? Our time. I can't. I can't see over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we have just a few more minutes. So the um the call to action. Yeah, we were talking about Bible study. Maybe you know that can be our call to action for the future. Uh, yeah. But the personal call to action, make a plan to read the Bible or a daily devotional. So that goes in with our last one, too. We talked about prayer, right? You right. get a daily devotional, get your Bible and look at the reading plan that's in the front or the back of it. Every yeah. Bible, I think, has it. Yeah. Um, and that phone app, it'll send you a reminder to actually yes. read that devotional for the day. So yes. technology, <laughs> it is a beautiful thing. And it'll even read the Bible for you. Yeah. I, on my app, I can hit sound and it'll just be reading to me, you know? And I, <laughs> Look, you're like, that is like, yeah. <laughs> so it's good stuff. Um, so please like and share this video. Please make sure you're following at Who Worldwide everywhere. Um, follow I am Ty Scott King, Dice Gamble on all our social media platforms, please. And then um, come back in two yeah. weeks. Okay. Yeah. Listen, we got some good stuff coming for you. And if you have any ideas about uh, what we should talk about or what you want to talk about, put them in the comments or inboxes. Let us know. We, we, we're we here for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> October 4th is the next day, two weeks from now, right? October 4th. So um, before we get out of here, we're I'm going to pray. And okay. then um, please share, share this video out. All right. Absolutely. Ready? Yeah. Right, Father God, we thank you that you gave us the opportunity to um, come together to talk about what your word is and how to work it in our lives, Lord God. We pray that you will um, just give us a, a desire to read your word more, which is really just spending more time with you, Lord, that you'll you'll put it in our hearts and that you'll tell us how to um how to obey it, how to live it out, Lord. Thank you for your goodness, your grace, your mercy, and for all that you've already done, all that you're doing, all that you will continue to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Woohoo! Good stuff. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta talk about how to work the word. That's really good. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go work my word right now. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Go work it right all now. The <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Next time. Bye, Ty. See you. <laughs> Says anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The old life is gone. The new life has begun. Live like you believe that it's true. Apply it to your life. 
when he says, trust in the Lord and don't lean on your own understanding. Live like you believe that it's true. The Bible says, blessed is the man whose delight is in the law of the Lord. So I want you to take your notes and turn them over again. We're gonna review before you get your homework. How do you release the power of God's word in your life? My faith releases the power of God's word in my life. How can I combine the word with faith? Choose to read it. Use whatever time you have, but take your time while using it. Choose to believe it. Biblical faith is choosing to believe something is true because you believe someone is truthful. Choose to declare it. When you say what God says, you begin to think like God thinks. And then choose to act on it. Why? Because a storm is coming. Everyone is building a life. A storm is coming and wise people believe in storms. And the house that falls or stands, falls or stands when you need it the most. And you cannot wait until the storm comes to start building on the right foundation. We prove we believe by how we behave. And when you act on God's word, God's word acts on you. So read it, believe it, declare it, act on it. And when you do, that's when the word of God will be at work in you who believe. Let's pray together. Would you bow your heads? Father in heaven, thank you. Thank you so much for your word. What a gift. You didn't leave us to just try to figure things out on our own, but you have spoken to us and you speak to us every day. Your word that was once spoken is still speaking into the hearts of men and women, people who love you, that your Holy Spirit who inspired these words when they were written, inspires these words when they are read and they are words of life and truth and hope and freedom. Lord, would you create in us a hunger for more and more of your word? Lord, would you help us to make time, just as we make time to eat food, would you help us to make time to feast on your word, to enter into the conversation and the friendship with you that we find in your word? Lord, help us, teach us to believe to take steps of faith, to declare your word, not just to hide it in our hearts, but to speak it through our mouths. And then, Lord, would you help us to be faithful and strong and fearless, to live like we believe it's true. I pray for this congregation, for every person hearing me today, that you will fill their life with your truth and with your power, and that your blessing will rest on them. And I pray this in Jesus' name, amen.